Chemistry videos how to solve a basic stoichiometry problem. Now this is one of the simpler problems that would be found on the mandatory pass exam. If you have watched the um, doing unit conversion video right before this you will follow the same format that you learned there and now we're going to apply the basics of a mole ratio within it. So the basic steps to solving a stoichiometry problem is first is to read the reaction statement and write down the reactants and any products you are given. If you are not given any products, then determine what type of chemical equation it is and then predict the products, be it single replacement, be it double replacement, be it a combustion, and you should be able to determine the products. Once you're done with writing the equation, then balance the equation and then write down the amounts that you have been given so we can use dimensional analysis to actually solve this. Now here's a sample problem. How many grams of ammonia can be produced if 100 grams of hydrogen gas is reacted with an excess amount of nitrogen gas? So right off the bat I know that my reactants are hydrogen gas and nitrogen gas and my product is ammonia and the symbol for ammonia is NH3 okay so my chemical equation is going to be hydrogen gas plus nitrogen gas will create ammonia now I have written down my reactants I have predicted my product and if I wanted to I would write down that I have a hundred grams of my hydrogen gas and sometimes I'll write a question mark over here to let me know which one am I predicting and also what is the unit they are looking for so here I'll write down grams now we need to balance this equation so once again we had hydrogen gas plus nitrogen gas created ammonia now as always first thing we would want to do is do any metals and as we can see in this equation there are no metals remember metals are the ones that are on the left hand side of the stair steps that are on the periodic table so next we go to the non-metals once we're done with the non-metals then we would work with the uh, hydrogens and last we work with the oxygens so the first non-metal I have that's a non-hydrogen or oxygen is nitrogen and here I have two of them so I need to come over here and put a two over here to have two nitrogens here now my nitrogens are balanced okay so I'll put a check there I have those balanced now I go to my hydrogens now here I have two hydrogens but over here I have two times three is six hydrogens so to get this balanced I need to put a big three over here now my hydrogens are balanced and all of this is balanced so I now have a perfect balanced equation and what this tells me is that three moles of hydrogen gas plus one mole of nitrogen gas will create two moles of ammonia gas okay now determine the number of moles grams to moles okay so we could do this either on one long equation which I'll show you on the next sheet but right now we were given a hundred grams of hydrogen gas so if I was to take my 100 grams remember draw your fence line put your first fence post in write down the unit and the number of what you was given immediately put the unit in the second box at the bottom okay because I need to get rid of this next I put where I want to go I need to go to moles so I put it on the top box up here at number two now I need to figure out okay I have a hundred grams of hydrogen gas okay and I need to turn that into moles of hydrogen so I know that one mole of hydrogen gas would be whatever the weight is according to the periodic table of two hydrogens each hydrogen weighs one gram per mole so this would be two grams so now I can see that grams of hydrogen cancel here grams of hydrogen cancel here that leaves me moles of hydrogen here and 100 times 1 is 100 divided by 2 is 50 so I would have 50 moles of hydrogen gas
set this up and do the dimensional analysis and do it the way that you should we take and we're going to write first of all I'll rewrite our balanced chemical equation up here so we have three hydrogen gas moles of hydrogen gas plus one mole of nitrogen gas will create two moles of ammonia now we're going to do the dimensional analysis so first of all I draw my fence line put in my first post okay remember we had a hundred grams of hydrogen gas so even though I showed you how to take it and put it into moles the other way you know by just one at a time I'm gonna lay it all out right now and show you how you should do it so you can get it done really quick so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write down the unit grams of hydrogen gas and then the number that I have so I have a hundred grams of hydrogen gas I immediately want to take the unit and write it down in the bottom second box so I'll put my other fence post in here so now I gotta figure out which we already have I need to go to moles because we go to grams to moles moles to moles moles to grams so remember that we go grams I have to go to moles using my balanced chemical equation I have to go moles to moles and then on my product side I go moles to grams this is on the product side this is the reactant side so then we already figured out that one mole of hydrogen gas weighs two grams so then I have now went from grams which was given to me I'm now at moles on my reactant side now I'm going to jump across from reactant to product okay and I have to use what they asked me for and they wanted to know how much ammonia here was we were going to make and they wanted to know in grams okay so now I'm going to go moles to moles as it shows me down here and it tells me I put where I want to go on top so that would be ammonia and I immediately take like we talked about what we have over at the top here goes down at the bottom over here okay put my other fence post in here now I need to look and see what my balanced chemical ratio is and this tells me that there's two moles of ammonia for every three moles of hydrogen gas so now I'm at moles over here because these are all in moles I just jumped from this area here all the way over to here now I gotta go to grams so I want to put grams atop grams of ammonia and I'm gonna take what I have over here moles of ammonia down here at the bottom and I need to figure out okay well how many grams are in one mole of ammonia and if I add up right here that this weighs 14 and this weighs 1 but I got three of them that equals 17 grams so I know that there's 17 grams of ammonia in one mole of ammonia now I have my problem all laid out I am at grams of ammonia right here which is what they asked me to get to so once I see that I am here I know I'm done I don't have to lay any more out so now I do the math the first thing I do is cross cancel all like units anything that's above the number line and below the number line I can get rid of so here I have a grams of hydrogen there's a grams of hydrogen I don't have any more grams of hydrogen anywhere around here I have a mole of hydrogen here's a mole of hydrogen okay here I have a mole of ammonia here's moles of ammonia so as you can see all of my units now cancel out and the only unit that I have left is this one right here which is the one that they asked me for how many grams of ammonia can we make so now I do the math I'm gonna multiply everything that's up above the line so that would be 100 times 1 is going to be a hundred times two is going to be two hundred times seventeen is going to be thirty four hundred right I believe that math in my head is correct there and then I take down here and I multiply these two times three times one is going to be six and then I would end up 
and then I would end up uh, and do my math over here on this side. So 100 times 2 is 200, just so you can follow along here. 200 times 17, if we take 17 and you do it that in your math, okay, that's 3,400, okay? We take 3,400 grams is what we end up with here. Now I have to divide that by 6. So if I take 34, divide that by 6, I'm going to end up with somewhere around 566.1 grams of ammonia is what I can make from 100 grams of hydrogen gas. Now what you need to do is times as you possibly can okay go back and forth over it and if you have other questions jump back into the video that talks about unit conversion problems okay use these two together then write down any questions you have and bring in any practice problems you have into class and we'll go ahead and get them answered there because this is the basic stuff you need to be able to do to pass the mandatory pass exam okay remember chemists try and never 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 give up keep trying out there stay gritty